I started, the mission was very clear. We we're gonna bring clean drinking water to everyone on the planet. And I really saw the end. I mean, I, I saw this thing through to imagining one day when everyone on planet Earth had clean water to drink. Because the, the beauty is it is a solvable problem. We know how to help people get clean water. It's one thing to hear a statistic, it's another to be in these villages and watch children getting sick as they are drinking diseased, contaminated, brown, viscous water with, with parasites and worms in it. And I uh, got the idea to start Charity Water and try to work towards this idea of creating a world where everyone has clean water to drink. And it just was crazy to me that because of where one in 10 people on the planet just had been born, the conditions they were born into, they went without this basic need for life. And I thought we could, we could do something to help. I think one of the challenges for us is, is getting people to care about this issue that doesn't affect them. If I was working on cancer research, if I was working on homeless issues, you know, these, these issues are around us every day. The water crisis, not so much. Pockets of Flint, Michigan, and you know, droughts in California, the, the, we're talking about water a little more today, but America officially has 100% water coverage. Ethiopia has 50% water coverage. So for us, we've been telling stories over the last 10 years of people that are trapped inside this huge statistic, inside the 660 million people on the planet that don't have water. And we've been telling stories about mothers who are leaving their children to walk six hours a day for dirty water, uh, often getting attacked by hyenas, sometimes getting raped on the way to the water hole, uh, bringing dirty contaminated water home and often losing their children to diarrhea, completely preventable diseases if they just had clean water. And then we talk about the solutions. So many of these communities uh, are actually living on top of massive amounts of clean groundwater, of aquifers that could save their lives and the lives of their children. But yet they don't have a million dollars of drilling equipment. They don't have the skilled hydrologists and the knowledge to go and, and tap into that aquifer. And getting people just to think not in terms of just the, the numbers, which can often be paralyzing, but individuals who uh, were suffering simply because of where they were born and the, the, the scarcity of water, and then how their lives are transformed through water. Uh, that's, that's really helped uh, build this community and it's helped invite people in. You know, there are six-year-old kids that will mail us letters with $8.15 that they have saved up. And then we have individuals that are able to give a million dollars and everything in between. And it's really just, uh, our, our promise has been that we will be transparent, we will show people where the money is going, we will prove impact, and hopefully just see this problem actually solved in our lifetime. See the day on Earth when no one's drinking dirty water. Charity means love. You know, the, the act of charity is to help your neighbor in need, getting nothing in return. So I think we've just invited people into this and you know, well over a million people have said, I can do something, I can add my voice.